These were the scenes 20 years ago at the FNB Stadium as Orlando Pirates defeated JS Kabilia, one of the big teams on the African continent. JS Kabilia have won six CAF competitions in their history. The Algerian side were a difficult team to beat, but Pirates did it to lift the CAF Super Cup in 1996. There it goes. Gavin Lane carrying it with the number nine jersey on. This number nine jersey that belongs to uh, the striker of JS Kabilia on that day. I'm still looking at it. There it is, the original thing. You brought it with her. Let's start with you, Gavin, because, I mean, you brought the original jersey. How the hell did you even find this in your cupboard? <laughs> uh, well, through many years of playing a lot of football, I had a lot of jerseys um, in my cupboards. Uh. But my youngsters have, have um, taken him all my Pirates jerseys. I don't have any more, but uh, luckily I found that one. And um, coming to this to the studio today, I thought I'll bring it along and just remind the guys exactly what we did that night. You did brilliant things that night. And one of the key men in doing those brilliant things, Bruce Ramukadi. Bruce, you were key. In fact, people can say of the Super Cup, you were the Jerry's Kosano of it. You scored the 1-0 victory. Yeah, um, I was actually not even on the starting lineup. Uh, on okay, the, on, on the day. <laughs> okay, Nika Chance. Okay, Nika Chance. Jerry had his problems, <laughs> you know. So uh, let's not talk about that. No, let's talk. Let's not talk about that <laughs> on uh? TV. Yeah, Jerry had his problems. Uh, so I had to start on the day. So the coach says, uh, problem. Uh, Warm up. Uh, uh, um, start. Uh. Uh, strong, my friend. Strong like dog. <laughs> this is Bandarenko. That's Bandarenko. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, uh, my friend, for you, strong <laughs> like dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Ogbara Williams uh, is with us here. Orlando Pirates is uh, most capped player, 375 games for the team. Uh, Ogbara, how busy a day was it, that final for you? Because we all know that the Champions League final in Abidjan, hey, you were flying, you were busy that day. This Super Cup final 20 years ago, how busy were you? It was a tough game, as you see on the day. After winning the Champions, uh, the Champions Cup in Abidjan, you mm. know, we needed that trophy because it's easy to win the Champions Cup and easy to win. It's not easy to win the champion, uh, the Super Cup. Mm -hmm. So after winning that cup, the Champions Cup in uh, Africa, Coast, we told ourselves because we are like one big family. When we say go, all of us go. Nobody looks back. You know, we told ourselves, this is the opportunity. Maybe we might not have this opportunity again. Let's go and do this job. So whatever that been thrown on that day, uh, I tell you, my friend, nchere everything. I dive everything, you know, in that <laughs> Nigerian language, nchere everything. Uh. So that day I was diving and, uh, you know, with him in front of me. Stability. mistake, I hit him. <laughs> oh, you hit him? I, I asked him, I hit him. I want us you to know. go, before we get the team stuff out and the stories of what happened, let's look at the key moment, the 1-0 victory, how that goal came, because it looks like there was a bit of a robbery on uh, uh, Gavin Lane. <laughs> it looks like when we look at it again, Gavin uh, could have been the hero of the day, but it was Bruce who came up with the goal. First, Gavin Lane, long throw, Gav. You had that long throw back in the day, they couldn't cope. Yeah, fortunately, uh, they took a lot of long throw-ins and we had the big boys like Batchy up front and Mark Fisher would always push forward. So, um, yeah, then here comes the goal. Here comes the back post, Lane with the header, Ace keeper, Ramukhari. <laughs> <laughs> Ramukhari puts it in the net. The man who wasn't supposed to start is the hero. And then celebration, you've been working on it eh, for a while. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we used to have fun. A training, you know, practicing the <laughs> celebrations, and the one that one stood out on the day. You did it, <laughs> unlucky, Gavin. Unlucky crossbar. Well, as as a part I mentioned earlier on, we all as a team, and I think that's what made us such a great team um, in '95, '96 season was that we worked as a team, and and that that shows you exactly what happened as a team. We all worked there for each other. We died for out, out there for each other. So. Yeah, it was, it was very important. So I would never say it was my goal or Bruce's goal. It was a team goal. I have to confess that of all nicknames in all of South African history of football, Gavin Lane's nickname for me is the one. 
Stability, stability unit. The stability unit. <laughs> <laughs> Your number five. And I have to keep South Africans the history here. Back in the apartheid days, mm -hmm. there was uh, uh, the police unit, which was yeah. called internal stability unit. Yeah. Now, yeah. they were mainly white guys, and they'd come into the township, and if there was a riot, or you thought of a riot, or you were thinking of causing a problem, they'd come in and kick everyone. Yeah. And then they said, you are that guy <laughs> for Orlando Pirates. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Yeah, obviously, I mean, I still remember Freddie, um, he was the one that got the one leg. We played at Tembisa and he, 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 my, I had a nickname, Alba Man and uh, 10 Triple One and everything like this. And they came and said, no, 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 you stability units. And I still went up to him and I said to him, what does that mean? He said, no, 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 because the police force come and they, they stop everything. <laughs> and there's no noise, it's quiet. <laughs> and that, all, that is what you are doing to all the strikers. You're making them scared, there's no trouble. And, and yeah, and it's stuck since then. And still nowadays walking in the, in the streets and everything, no one says hello, Gavin, or Lane, and things. Hey, stability. <laughs> <are you>? So <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name, stuck. Was it true? Did he really give that kind of uh, Def protection? Definitely. <laughs> you know, with him, I can tell him, Kev, I'm going as Willie Go. I'm behind you. <laughs> I will go and punch. I lie down there. You hit a shot, he will put his head. <laughs> this only player I've seen. Was it against Uganda first press? He was, you know, he has a cut here. Stitches. Yeah. They put in stitches. Two minutes later, I don't know what happened. Me, whatever. He put neck up. <laughs> Kev, go out. No, 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 no. We need this point. <laughs> I look at him. I say, Kev, try, do your best. I will help you. Fish, let's play. <laughs> let's help him. Since he wants to stay on, means he wants to see us win this game. We all stayed together. In short, we are a team. Bruce, just tell us about your ties to Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, my father is Banks uh, Eklodi, former uh, goalkeeper, uh, uh, former Kaiser Chiefs goalkeeper. Not just keeper, great goalkeeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not uh, keeper, Nyana, the great Banks Eklodi. But, but it wasn't uh, undercover. No, because uh, even some of your teammates no, today, <laughs> Kevin says, I didn't know. I was in undercover. I want to disclose that to Gavin. No, Gavin, did most, you know? Most I did not know. No, most of the public knows. That but Gav, uh, your teammate didn't know. Uh, no, he, he wanted to play for Pirates. He didn't want to know about Chiefs. <laughs> That's all he wanted to do. Uh? You know, yeah. Guys, while I have you around the table, <laughs> and the topic that we did put out there was, why is it that we're finding that modern South African teams be it the national team, be it club sides, are struggling when it comes to the CAF competitions compared to the successes of Chiefs in 2001, 95, 96, Orlando Pirates. What's the difference? I'm going to come to it, but last, because <laughs> he's still involved right now. What do you think? Uh, I, d I definitely think it's, you know, our mindset in those days was that we're out there as a team and we want to go out and win. And to me nowadays, it looks like you've got a squad of 60 players and um, I don't know if there's no gel between the players or what is we had what 25 30 players maybe guys that we had to play with train smaller squad smaller squad and we knew if w once we traveled we traveled as a team we traveled as a unit and um, I just say I think we went out there and played with our heart um, nowadays the guys to me it seemed like they they go out there and they don't like to get tackled anymore and we were we had to be strong and tough a part of taking us into Nigeria was tough places of Pyro, I remember he looked after us there. Um, but that's what made us stronger. And mm. I, I think that's what the, the bond became. Where nowadays I think the guys go there, they're petrified because they say, oh, well, the pitch is not like FNB. But that's, that's, the way, that's the way soccer is, you know what I mean? Mm. You've got to go out there, you've got to play on every, every and any, any pitch. So I think personally, I think that, you know, it's first of all team spirit and playing with your heart that you want to go out and win every match. And I think that's a problem. Bruce? Yeah. Uh I concur with uh, Kevin here. Yeah. Um, you know, we used to have uh, that team spirit, you know. Uh, each and every game when we played in Tembisa, we used to go out with these guys. Kevin, we used to take him to <laughs> the Kasi, you know, <laughs> after the game. This is a stability unit for yeah, Kasi, for uh, sure. McFish. Then you empty the tavern, everyone said, hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we used to, every after game, we used to be together. Um, that's how we... We, we 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 got together and had, a, had that team uh, team spirit and that fighting spirit as well is it harder now yeah. to achieve what you had then well uh, it's not hard it's not hard but um all i would say you know it's, it comes to what you want to achieve as a player 
you know. That's the most important thing. I was want to win things. Remember, Pirates then was uh, um, relegated teams from Dynamos, uh, you know, all those uh, on fancy teams then. Mr. Kosa bought players, put them together. When I came to South Africa, nobody knew who saw Para or whatever. But when we started playing, they can see. It's like what Lister is doing now, Lister City is doing in uh, England now. Nobody gave them a chance to be where they are today. That's what happened to us. We we're now on our own side, we try to prove people that it's not because the team has been uh, relegated that we also relegated. No. We as individuals, we have, um, we have something in life. We want to play for Pirates. When we leave Pirates, we have to leave a legacy that people that will come after us, you know, we see as, yeah, which team won this team? Like now, if you go to Orlando Pirates, you will see the trophy there. Our name is to be reviewed, you know. And you have left, left a legacy, gentlemen. You really have. Bruce, thank you for the goal. Thank you for bringing the trophy to South Africa. Uh, even though you weren't expected to play, that's what the guy <laughs> comes in <laughs> off the bench does. Stability unit, it's been too long since we've seen you. Good to have you tonight with us Pleasure. on the show. Thank you. Okpara Williams. Uh, well, I mean, you were the number one goalkeeper from 19... Two. To 2002, from 1990 to 2002, yeah. 12 years, you were the number one goalkeeper at Orlando Pirates and still part of the team. So it's great to have them. Congratulations on the 20 year anniversary. Shampunaiza, what's happening on the bench as the players shake hands here in front of me? Oh, you are sitting with real, real, real legends. Those people never got injured, ever. <laughs> I've never seen them injured. That's why we call them legends. But you said DJ Zintle's outfit, Kikalata Amazul. I'll make it interesting <laughs> and put this thing away. Now she's Siwele Lesa Masokolar.